when Israel turned away from God, when Israel drove God out of its life, out of its public square, the gods came in. Baal, Ashtorah, Molech, all the gods came in. And this is a principle that when you turn away from God, in some way, when you drive God out, you know, nature abhors a vacuum, even spiritually. We were made to worship. So if you take God out, other gods will come in. In Hebrew, it's actually one of the mysteries in the, in the Book of Mysteries. Uh, the word Elohim is the word for God, but it's a plural word. If you turn away from Elohim, you will turn to your other Elohim, the gods. The God, because Elohim also means the false gods, and yet it means the true God who's majestic. So even if, it doesn't matter if it's your secular or whatever you are, if you turn away from God, you're gonna go after idols. And you may not call them that if you're you know, secular, but it doesn't matter if you're an atheist, you're gonna do that. And same not only with people, but also with a civilization. When a civilization removes God, it always turns to other gods, even when it doesn't call it such. For instance, look at the Soviet Union, look at Russia. They turned away from God, and what did they do? They made communism the God, they made the state be became the God. They worshiped their leaders as gods. If a nation strikes down the ways of God, you know, like the Supreme Court strikes down God's ways, they are appointing themselves God. They are saying, we make what is right and wrong. We define that. You are making yourself God when you're the center of the universe. So if the state says we are not under God anymore, then the state is saying it is God. So either way, even in the 21st century, even though we may not call it as such, if you drive out God, you will, you will end up worshiping the gods and those gods will be gods of your destruction.